Hi, it's Alaska Granny. I like to buy things at Dollar Tree when I'm in the lower 48, and part of the prepping supplies that I buy are foods for my prepper pantry. Well, people have been leaving comments. All that food is from China. You shouldn't eat the food from Dollar Tree. It's from China. Before you make a judgment that all food is from China, you need to read the labels because you will find that lots of the foods from Dollar Tree are from many countries all over the world. And there's nothing wrong with that. I know people like to assume that all food from China isn't any good. And part of that might be true because of historical problems we've had. But don't discount all foods simply because you don't like foods from one particular country. There are many countries in the world with delicious foods. A lot of them are at the Dollar Tree. Another thing that I've noticed is a lot of the name brand foods are even at Dollar Tree for less expensive than they are at the regular grocery stores. So you can't just assume because it's cheap that it isn't any good. Some items at Dollar Tree aren't necessarily less expensive than at another grocery store. So that's another reason to shop around because sometimes you can find those foods for a less expensive price, especially if they may be on a sale at another store. But we digress. Are the foods from Dollar Tree from China? Let's go through and look at a selection of foods that I bought recently for my prepper pantry. While I'm in the lower 48, I'm using my Alaska Granny Camper, which is my RV travel trailer. And these are some of the foods that I picked up for my trip. So we can go over and look at the items and see where are they from. First is some Honey Nut Toasted Oats Cereal. It's multi-grain, Honey Nut, Rings of Cereal. It's a product of Mexico. Then I bought some of the Marcel's Modern Pantry almond milk. I've also purchased some of the other just regular uh, dairy milk and it's all produced and packaged in the USA. Now it does say shake well before using. Make sure that you remember to do that because some people said there's chunks in it. But look, it says shake well before using. Next is coconut milk. Well, I'm sure we don't grow much coconut in America, so perhaps we're going to have to find our coconut milk from somewhere else. And look, coconut milk is a product of Thailand. Also, shake well before use. Bruce's yams, which are cut sweet potatoes. So whether they call them yams or sweet potatoes, they're really actually all sweet potatoes. They're real southern style. These are all a product of the USA. I think they're actually all grown in South Carolina. Tender green asparagus spears. Yum. These are very good if you haven't tried them. If you like asparagus, you can just open them up and add them onto a salad, stir them into pasta, serve them as an antipasta. Product of Peru. Let us know if you enjoyed the asparagus. Idahoan mashed potatoes. These are great because you just add boiling water and you have some very delicious mashed potatoes. They can last a long time in your pantry and just like the name says, they're grown in Idaho. Jet puffed mini marshmallows. I don't know about your family, but mine loves marshmallows. You can also put these in the dehydrator and they turn out great. Kraft Heinz Food Company. So it doesn't mention any country, so I think we need to assume if it doesn't mention any country, it's from the United States. Marshmallow swirls. My kids love marshmallows, and so I like to pick up these interesting ones at Dollar Tree. These are made in Turkey. If you've ever traveled to Turkey, their Turkish Delight candies are renowned. Marshmallow rainbow twists. They had one one time that said unicorn poop or something. Anyway, these are made in Mexico. Another package of Magical Marshmallow Twists. These are just a different color, and they are a product of Brazil. Bear Graham Cookies, chocolatey chip. These are great. It's only $1.25 for 10 little packs of cookies, which I think are quite yummy, and my grandchildren like them too. These are a product of India. Unicorn Fruit Snacks. Look, it says, yummy, yummy, and my grandchildren think that they are. Should they eat them every day? No. But are they fun for a treat? Yes.
Something we need to remember as adults is that things aren't all of this or all of that. There might be some things that are one way, some things that aren't, but the only way to actually know for sure is don't overgeneralize and then do your own research. Read the labels. Sometimes you have to practically take a magnifying glass and be a detective to see what's on the labels, to see where the food is from, what are the ingredients, and what is the freshness date on that package. But don't just listen to over-encompassing uh, statements when people say, all the food at Dollar Tree is from China, or nothing from Dollar Tree is any good. Because, you know, that's fine. We all have choices. Everybody has choices. You can choose to buy the foods that you want at a price you can afford to store those foods away or not. And these are some of the items that I like to stock up when I go to the Dollar Tree. And there are just suggestions that I'm sharing with you as a prepper. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a doctor. I am not a scientist, I'm just a prepper. And these are some of the food items that I like to include in my food stockpile. Everybody has choices, choose to make your own, either to prepare or not to prepare, stock up on the foods that you are willing to eat. Leave it in the comments below, what are some things that you like to find at Dollar Tree that you'll add to your prepper pantry and your food storage stockpile. And I hope you'll like my video, share my video, and please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.